I earned 500 points by doing all this. I haven't searched today because I don't need to because I just hit 500. Now I can go here to add to cart. Check out. Complete check out. And I'll get an email here soon and it'll have a code to redeem the 400 points. And now that's been reset to zero or two. And I got my email. I did that video on how to install custom recovery and it wouldn't work, but I have been able to get it to work. And unlike most people that show you how to install CyanogenEngine and stuff, but they already have it installed, I went stock for you guys. I just signed into my Gmail account. I haven't downloaded any apps at all. So I ran software upgrade and flashed the stock 2.1 and then before it even booted to the system, I applied the update.zip and get you Android 2.2. So at this point, I need to root the phone, which is easy. It's doing it. I push back and listen. It's vibrating. Stop. I need the Dropbox one. I click on the intercept root APK, and it says I can't because it's blocked. Click settings, unknown sources, okay. And while you're here, click development, USB debugging, and okay. Back, click on it, and then install. Open, click OK, allow it to do its thing. Alright, the phone is now fully booted up. We need to go to the market and install ES File Manager. Correction, ES File Explorer. I got an email today about my EVO 3D, it should be coming tomorrow. I'm still going to keep this phone until the Nexus 3 comes out. Once the Nexus 3 comes out, I'll upgrade this account to that phone. Menu, settings, go all the way down to root options, root explorer, and mount file system. Now we got to go to system, go all the way down, find this recovery from boot, long press it, delete, okay. And then go to ETC, go to install recovery.sh, delete. Okay, we're done with this. Now we need flash image GUI. You can download it from SDX for free and transfer it to your SD card. But I support Joey Krim, so I paid for it. I did a full video on how to root, so you've got to get the recovery.rfs onto your SD card, and I did that in the previous video. So recovery, do not clear anything, just click browse. I put my stuff in a Dropbox folder, and then with the Dropbox app for Android, I download it. Click flash image, yes. Now we just need to Power our phone off. Volume down. Voice. Power. And let go. Now we have custom recovery. You can apply a kernel you want to apply. You can change this to ext4 and your phone will boot like minutes faster by going to advanced and then file system conversion. And say you did all this without a computer but you want to go stock. I downloaded this one today and I'm going to try it. I'm pretty sure I was supposed to wipe the phone first, so this might not work. Yes, I am supposed to wipe it before I do it. See if we got custom recovery or not. Let's try it this way. So do what I did earlier, just choose the wipe option before you do it. That was a dumb mistake on my part. That may have worked. Everything's back to the way it was, so for it to be one less step, just choose the wipe option, then apply the update as if it gives you the full 2.2 stock.
doing this whole process again just so I can show you guys how to flash dock using an update.zip correctly. I'm not even signing to my Google account this time. I just rooted it again using Interceptor. I do not have customer recovery at this time. Now that I have root. See, you can download it for free. I figured the one I was trying to use was old. I just googled ES File Explorer and downloaded it. I'll come back when it's done. Alright, it updated so now it should know that we have root. Oh yeah, I totally forgot. When you install the 2.2.2 restore zip, it doesn't put those recovery files on here. So even under ETC, you don't have to delete those files because install recovery is not on here. I did have to sign into my Google account. So I'm going to go ahead and use Titanium Backup to back up the... Since the Titanium Backup APK is on my SD card, I only have to sign into my Google account. I can just restore it. Now I should have custom recovery. Yay! Now this time I choose wipe, factory reset, okay. And then I install zip from SD card, choose zip, SDX, zip, full stock, home. Okay, we should be completely stocked now. Yep, no flash image GUI, no ES file explorer, and no titanium backup. That's my video on how to root, install custom recovery, and go stock, all without a computer. So please, hit that like button, and if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. This is What Would Josh Do, and I'm out.